Careful, because Dennis, he's going to try and hold the headshot, then it's trickling in. One found, but the refrag comes through from TMB. Julie's Cressy, let's have a look at this. Right under his nose, smoke oh, no. between himself and his opponents. This is going to be tough. Yeah, he's looking for an angle around the smoke, but it's had the expense of Farvin. He's lost quite a bit of HP, but Cressy eventually gets picked up. Slappy about the CZ75 he's managed to keep his hands on. But they will be hunted very soon. The duelies come out, and the duelies will wreck. TMB very quickly disposes of him. Flax. I mean, there's no way he keeps his armor there. <laughs> Absolutely no way. Denied completely. First 1-0 here for Mad Lion. In this instance... Yeah, hoping that they won't be overworked at this point. But JL finding the first frag. Nice little trade through two for Favon, actually. And that means that they're only... Gets the better of him. Sossel now looking to find the angle here, but the double up over towards Balcony makes it very difficult. Dennis, he finds himself in between a rock and a hard place. The Balcony push, the long push, he's going to have to fire, and eventually he's going to get caught out. Cressy and Favin now on the retake, two versus three. I, I would say the nail in their coffin was Sossel deploying the smoke that just wastes an additional 10 to 15 seconds and makes it very difficult to even get onto the site. Hat chooses to retreat because there's an additional player in graveyard and one in the bomb site. So this is working to Sprout's favor. Favin finds the first frag, even the Ooh. second with a quick headshot, and TMB will respond, but is it in time? 20 seconds on the clock. Cressy with two quick kills. Waro finds the quick scope, but he has to find two, and there's only 15 seconds, and 11 HP is not the best of his friends. Oh, they were doing so good, but now... Mad Lions can't do too much after that. The two rifles on the side of Sprout are absolutely everything that they required. Nothing. Your hair's pretty good as well. I mean, oh, Speedy with aggressiveness, though. He's not, he doesn't care about hair. TMB, ooh, only finds a trade as Favon. He's good for another one. Trade coming through. Keen. Need to find another one, but no, Favon just keeps on spraying one by one. And now have to go for JL with a lineup, finds one. They need to be fast. Sorcer finds one. Down to a 2v2. Favon is still low. And Sorcer will look to the damage. Won't be able to do anything. Favon and Dennis close it out, and they've got plenty of time to get the fuse down. It almost looked like they would get that two, two versus four clutch, but Favon was able to immediately recuperate that missed shot and land a quick scope with the 8 of them for the T for the terrorist side. Yeah, and Speedy. Does hold down the line with the AG scope. Sin, not quite able to find the frag. Keen is able to find that. Snacks with the AWP, though. Things are getting tough. Down to 4v4. Things equalize in numbers. Dennis, ooh, finds a headshot. Will he find the follow-up, though? Still players on site to help ooh. him out if he needs to. Finds two, maybe the third. No, Waro will punish up on that. Two versus three with a 20 seconds remaining in the clock. Cressy looks behind. Quite in time as well. Solo player onto the A site, holding it down. No problem whatsoever. Waro trying a different angle right now. Cressy, not quite sure if he knows of this. Now he does, but he's in the middle. Nothing he can do. <laughs> finds a shot, and that's just how it works out. Sprout with a beautiful defense. I love that cooperation between Cressy and Dennis on the site. They trust each other so much that Cressy does not move a muscle. He's he's just he's just checking a short a short uh, a couple times. Sometimes looks over to make sure nobody's crossed Dennis as he's unpeaking, but he relies on Dennis to be able to nail down those kills, and he doesn't give away his position at all because he wants to allow P aim down mid, split the bullet. Mm. Mm hmm. Aggressive though from the start. Ooh, headshot foul there from JL opening things up early on in this round. But Slacks needs to be a little bit careful. So also finding a secondary one as well. Everything Sprout has thrown out onto second mid has pretty gone. I love the attention to detail from Favin. He's not moving a muscle. He's not showing his position and he's eventually able to catch somebody off guard. But as he tries to retreat, the refrag is there and it leaves it down to just two players. Slacks makes that three and he's going for a repeat. Ooh. Almost finds it, but War is too quick on the trigger. Spitty. One on three, coming in with the AUG, tries to tap away, hasn't been able to scope in, finds the headshot, and now the T's know what to do. They know they have to back off. Because they've got the bomb, they've isolated Spitty into... No idea. They can find the one player onto the site now. Peek through. Not spotted out. That's one easy kill. Doesn't check library just yet. The Speedy knows exactly where he is. No, Waro knows where Speedy is. But he's got a limited amount of time to work with. The fuse get a hand still gives him an extra five seconds. He's being watched, so oh, almost got it. One HP is the difference maker. Waro. Utility as well. 
He's got the lineup, not quite finding the shot, has to draw back because of the flash. Speedy with the first frag of that round, starting off with the first blood. CMB finding one completely flash, doesn't even matter, finds a second. The follow-up hands true. 4 HP onto 2 MB, somehow still standing, not for long. AWP is going to have to be the shot, but 5 HP onto Slacks will mean this will be fairly, fairly dangerous for him. Needs to be careful. Warro with the lineup will be able to find the shot. No, he won't. Caressi finds that one. JR with a trade through, but that is Sprout winning the retake. A very beautiful one as well. Take the bomb, defuse it, and take this round home. Good decision from Sprout to immediately go for Tech 9, and they'll be looking very comfortable with at least a buy they've afforded themselves this round. But Sossel, he's suddenly started to rip them apart. Slax is quite low, and he's managed to pick, pick up Fall. And TMB, he's going to add another egg to the basket of broken eggs. Five, and he's flashed out of his mind. He has to peek out soon, finds one frag, but Keen's also Ooh. made it a little bit more difficult, but that bomb being in a, in a position, which is 35 seconds, bomb yet to be recovered. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Dennis O is able to peek through nearly the second, but Keen is able to find that one. Slacks with an AWP, that's not the optimal weapon to get this round underway. It's Mad Lions with the win in the end. The patience at the later stages of it. It was a mishap throughout it, but Mad Lions bring it back to a sixth. Decide to go back, but I think this is where they're committing. Yeah, they're pulling the trigger. Favon will be able to hold down the line. Dennis on boost position, still not yet shown his angle. Favon still, headshot coming through. But it's Dennis, unaware, they know. He drops down, he finds a second one as well. Speedy is down, that doesn't even matter though because there's still one on site. Fabin holds true, finds a second one as well. Three kills to that man, two kills to Dennis. That was clean from... Get themselves a seventh on their own map pick. That'll be good prospect on the T side. Cressy with the lineup, but it's gonna get traded through fairly soon as well. Maybe go towards long. Smoked up for the time being, but they're sticking around it as well. Slacks holding it down with an AWP. Dennis with an orthodox angle is able to spot out one, going for the boost, caught off guard. Finds a second one with two, but Slacks right now holding down the other side. It's all up to TMP. Wherever Mad Lions went, they got greeted by firepower. One by one getting shut down, and that is one round left to the half. Love the interruption. From got plenty of them as well. Oh, he's quite Dennis. fast. Oh, not quite. Not committed, not just yet. The slacks all flashed out, not quite able to find the first shot, and that just means Mad Lions may be able to pincer them in onto the A side. Yeah, Dennis, he's playing the bread and butter position over towards Pit, but Keen has crept forward and he's come up behind Dennis. Eventually, though, they've been shut down by the one player in Pit teetering on the edge of an ace, and Dennis is looking hungry for it. Waro, though, he's trying to find his head, it peeks right into him, and that's the ace for Dennis to end half number one. Wow. Okay, what a way to end the half. An ace for Dennis. Not too bad, not too shabby. Nice good start for them. Find some shots. Not going to be the headshots. No kill found just yet. Peeks out wide. Not going to help out with multiple players holding down that angle. But Sorcerer all by himself on site. What can you do? You need madness. Rotation's coming in. But they can block them through, right? JL, he's in trouble. So many players. But finds a headshot. They haven't yet gotten the bomb down. And Sorcerer still being a menace. Finds I'm two sorry, before what? he even goes down. That's insane. But now Speedy and Fabian need to make it work. Speedy, what a headshot onto Keen. Brings it down to a 2v2 win. This could be doable. Look at the wraparound. Fabian able to find one. JL finding the other onto the other side but now it's down to a 1v1 playing this very conservatively he's allowing the glock to get into a much more favorable range jails missed a few shots and Favin responds sprout getting to double digits off of that 90 degree smoke to be drawn as well flash they are going to trickle in saw saw needs to hold us down he's able to find it even though he's completely blind jl helps out from afar library position for him keen from sight as well chiming in as well speedy not much he can do he's only able to find one so far and jl shuts him down as well mad lions get themselves right back into the game with this buy round win the offense won't really be very difficult Favin burning up to a crisp 19 points of health as if he's been hit in the leg with an awp but they will be able to find Keen in exchange. TMB also. It just feels like Mad Lions' this lineup just feels that much more stronger. AWP shot, flash completely, but finds a frag. Not too bad. Four on four now. Love that attention to detail from Waro. He peeks into it as soon as he gets flashed. And because he's ready for what's coming, he knows that that must be a flash beacon. Somebody's going to be scoping down to try to open up Banana. But Sprout is starting to respond. <sighs> Mad Lions Ooh. losing their grip, and Dennis has found one with a nade. This oh, the timing could be everything here. And it works out for Cressy. Sneaking behind their own spawn line, and JL will try and find him once more. Is hiding JL's through, fun? checking through library. That's not where he is. And that's it. Sprout with a 13th.
Three rounds away. Sprout are looking very strong, and they're looking a lot better than the last time they went up against uh, Mad Lion. So, I know you said earlier that, you know, Sprout's having a bit of a downward trend, but it would be a little heartbreaking for Mad Just here, fun strike. Fun spark, sorry. <laughs> Can't even call the tournament. But Dennis, now, look at this lineup. Sneaky, finds a headshot. Maybe find a second one across apartments, MP9. Not going to be the distance he requires for that weapon. Keen falls back. Needs to be careful because Cressy, he's got his number. He'll try for it. Favon is the one to find that one. And that's the A-site take for Sprout. You can see that Mad Lions are quickly getting very desperate because they're unable to find any numbers here. And time and time again, they've gotten shot Redemption Arc. Yeah. And it feels like it's less about something to prove, but just getting what they deserve. What they... It is trickling. Yeah, it's, it comes down to whether or not JL can get something off the booze, but Cressy denies it. Keen now spraying through the smoke. They're, they do have a bit of an HP game. And Mad Lions with a smoke and a flashbang. They have to try to isolate these duels. Keen rushes in. Dennis punishes. Favin trying to keep them off the bomb, and it suddenly falls apart. Sozzle's the only one left, and he'll be left in his grave. Coffin conveniently very close on the B-bombs. Based on the fact that they can get a good push through apartments right now to find the frags. Oh no, Keen, he's left, he's, he's left the spray, he's abandoned. He's been spotted, Sossel now knows that there has to be a peek anytime soon. He's peeked out wide, punishes Dennis, starts to back off. This is still doable, but the push is coming in. He definitely needs more frags than that. He's on his own on the site. He's the sole line of defense here onto the A site. Multiple players gonna trickle in. Three, in fact, Mad Lions will try and retake this, will try and come as fast as possible. It's all up to Sossel here. The line up, oh. he fine too. All up to speed right now and 22 HP remaining. Sossel. He did his job. Four kills found and damage onto Speedy. It's all up to JL and TMB. Flashstone. HG. Doesn't finish off the job. Behind the bomb. F looks for the headshot. It's vital. He finds it. Will goes for the short oh. They line up! No way! Okay, what a way to finish off the map. Speedy with two. And that is map one underway. Nuke coming right up next for that second one. Stay tuned right after the break. That was absolutely insane. That's... <laughs> He's brought it right back in, in the same fashion that Sossel got those two kills. But man, what a map. What a way to finish it. We'll be back with Nuke. To be playing close to Vents. He can get additional assistance from JL, but eventually he will go down. JL coming in from the top. He's found three already. He's making it work. And he's making himself look stylish. Except that last bit, but... They do have the advantage now. Keen and Tudson trying to go for this 2v3. Bring it down to two. Spamming through the smoke. It doesn't work out too well. Keen. Now Ooh, against two. Mm. Mm. Unlucky. Nice little shot there. The highlight from that, I'd say JL. <laughs> he tried to get some <laughs> yeah. acrobatics throughout that. But yeah, only good for two at the end. There he goes. Headshot number one. Headshot number I think... two. I think yeah. he tried to cross over above the orange door so they wouldn't realize that he's already crossed over in the midst of the chaos. Hmm. It would have been cool if he pulled it off. Does he react to this? They're pushing around the smoke. He's trying to play with fire here. He's playing oh, up so close, close and personal. Finds one, spams for the second. Almost gets away with it too if it wasn't for that meddling cane. JL. <laughs> HP onto Warren with that trade. Slacks down to eight. This is getting dangerous. Whatever rifle they have, they can close them out. That's exactly what they do, but it's a headshot, making it stylish. Speedy tries to reconfigure his position, but Warren is there and waiting. Three players surviving for Mad Lions. They bring it right back around. Second round being picked up by Mad Lions. I know that generally speaking, the CT side has a much tougher time with economy, but if you're on the T side and you buy up as much as you can on the second round after Keen is waiting on the pixel angle to spot them out and back off, Smoke is deployed, can go back to the safety of it. He will eventually sing out and he's able to pick up two on his way out. Cressy eventually capitalizes, but at, to, to what avail, at what cost? Also at the cost of his own life. Tudson eventually picks him up. With a bit of a damage, that makes your frags doing damage to their opponent's economy. In fact, he does find uh, Speedy, but... DMB, excuse me, but it's the... The Keen, he's expecting this. No one on that A main area, that is going to call the alarm bells. That's going to call out for trouble because they're going to start pushing towards the B site. Still, going from outside either, well, either way, they know that something like that is going on, but a couple of players have already crossed through. This could be kind of trouble here for Warrow. 
Oh, I love this from Waro. He's held on to his horses. Finds the kill on Cressy. For Tutsons allowed them to creep forward, and this is where he goes around for the swing. Slacks does pick him up through the molly, through the fire. JL will reign supreme. He's gotten two, and that's good enough for Keen to pick up the pieces. Mad Lions this time around, they're not one side here. Mad Lions will look to solidify that, but with the peak coming through with the flashes, they may be able to find some frags. Tutson from an unorthodox angle is able to find two, make that two, make oh? that three. Warrior chimes in with a collateral, and that's them disappearing from existence out of the server. Destroyed Cressy in on his own, but not for long because TMB takes him out of his misery. Now JL, he's about to be stormed by four players coming his way. TMB playing around the corner, playing behind the silo. Three quick kills. M4A1S makes it look like a negative. Bobbin responds. Two kills with the Deagles coming from the T side. And this is where they're fighting back. Although TMB started off so well, it still comes down to Waro in a one versus two. Maybe from spawn. Flash thrown out. Peeks through, but Dennis, he was there and waiting. Didn't even matter. Deagle, no success found. And that's Sprout. Answering back the TMB, like that was marvelous. Unfortunately, not quite good enough. Yeah, in the time it took TMB to find those three frags, they'd already they they'd already gotten the job done. Going a little bit aggressive, opening things up for the Mad Lion side of things, but Sprout with aggressiveness from that side will be able to cross through with the smoke down. Waro is able to find a nice little they knew from round one. From the first few seconds of the game, they knew Keen with two. Oh, and I love it. Single handedly takes them all on. No reinforcements required. Dennis has just bumped heads. The executor's That's coming huge. into A. Dennis has found him. And there it is. Keen tries to respond. That position so uncomfortable, and it all falls apart. The T side, they've gotten into A. Hudson, 1v2, not impossible. Finds one pick, turns it into 1v1. Can he do that? We'll meet heads with Slacks. Oh, he's got the lineup. Slacks is faster to the trigger. I think he was scoped in as well. And that's how Mad Lions drop around. Sprout, what a beautiful push there. And it... They're coming in. JL will be ready for it. Flashes as well. He's able to greet them with a headshot. Nice little frag. And we'll try for the follow-up, but Dennis is there to greet them. Team from behind makes it good for two. Reloads, but Favon is there. Makes two for his own. Nearly the third. TMB chimes in once more. All up to Dennis right now with seven points of health. This is HP is moving out because of the molly. The audio cue must be there, Ooh. and Waro eventually chimes in. Oh, that was rough. That was rough, and it was messy throughout the entry of the A site. Oh yeah, for sure. Barely. I mean, Mad Lions, I take it. In ninth round. Smoke, so he can catch somebody off guard if they're trying to push through. Bit of a stalemate, smoke starts to fade. Keen, he gets caught out. A player's quite low, so Tutson can still be good for another one. Does manage to find him, and now Waro's peeking around the corner. Barely a pixel, but he does find the elbow regardless. Smoke comes out, bomb looking to be recovered by Slacks. We might be visible around the smoke. JL, flank is perfect. Does he find the angle? Ooh, oh, spots out the AK. Oh, that's dreadful. That's unfortunate. Draws it back to a 2v2 now. And that's the ace site tick as well. Molly thrown out from the get go. They need to be careful. TMB with oh. both of them as well. Simultaneously, Cressy, Delirium. They lost that round, but man, every time TMB is presented with a with a situation where it might be difficult to get anything more than a more than a few points on this map, on the T side at least. But this is their own map pick that could have potentially turned it to a 2 0, but Dennis start things off well. Bro spots out a little bit too preemptively. Slaps oh. though. Peaks crouched out, finds a headshot, and now Sprout with a two man's advantage. TMB not able to do too much, and that's going to be the take for Sprout. Dennis, he's been very successful playing outside, and he's shown us, uh, shown us the same thing again. A player in main, a player in garage, both have been taken off the roster of Mad Lions. JL now trying to recover some of these losses, switches over to the AK, giving a slight CT side advantage when you play a map like Nuke. Now, fair bit of utility on the T side, very quick approach. Nice little headshot there from Dennis from the get-go. Put Sprout ahead here. 
Carrying the momentum from the previous round is exactly where they want to be. I'm not quite sure if Mad Lions will let that happen that easily. Pushing through, Flash comes out, completely flashed out. Tudson is able to find the headshot of Dennis and can keep things going. Favin on site still, still hiding out. Slax helps out from main, finds two. Chimes in like that, really puts Sprout ahead. Keen all by himself, but not for long. Favin takes him out. And Sprout with a pistol round may find the gap closer. Back him down, though aggression coming into A. They need to be careful. Coming up from Ladder War will try and help out, but all of a sudden, Favin does find the kill. TMB chimes in. Tudson as well, but Cressy's still on site. Can do damage. Still taking the time to trickle in onto the vent. Speedy oh, is no. there waiting. He's good for two, and that means that Warrow is all by himself. 26 HP, one bullet should do it, but it's Dennis with a spray down to mow him down. And that's Sprout closing up the gap a little by this one. Ninth round now picked up, only one between themselves and their opponents. But yeah, that's the beauty from Favon, really. That 1v3 on that site kept his cool, finds two frags, and it just allows Dennis to come back, finding the kill from behind. And there's JL to walk into it, doesn't even move a muscle. All he does is pull the trigger. Favon adds another one to the tally. Pretty one sided so far. Sprout finding one pick after the other, and Mad Lions need to make something decisive happen right now. They need the frags. They can't give away too many other kills in their opponents' favor, but Fabin playing the vets perfectly, re peeking, but now he's pinned in. Keen finally finds that favor, Mad Lions. I mean, Waro, he's going to try and seek out a kill with the AWP, looking for the angle. 20 seconds remaining, but they need to find it fast. Slide up there from Speedy, sprays down through the smoke. Simple stuff. Keen might bring it back, though. Only finds one damage afflicted down to 22. Speedy, oh, falls down there. Beautiful stuff. Runs out of time. Time, runs out of space and it sprouts to find the equalizer i love the attention to detail from speedy there doesn't pull the trigger but speedy he knows his position pmb's position is at the expense of quite a bit of hp but he will recover he finds it but dennis though look at this unorthodox he's able to find one the second one as well they line up that's how he likes them. But right now, Keen, all by himself in that position, has to deal with it. He's got the bomb. He cannot afford to die because that is, then it sprouts with full control. And Dennis chimes in for a third. He needs to be careful, though. Ramp coming through. TMB. Oh, 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 oh. He can Dennis. get an ace if Tutson gives it to him. But that was amazing stuff from Dennis. Now, Tutson falling up from Vance. Not going to be successful. Favin chimes in for that. And Sprout, he's up ahead. Yeah, he's taking it. By all means, yeah, Sprout. M many see these guys as a massive, massive force here. But look at the aggression. Slack's not able to do too much. Shut down there from Keen. The aggression from Mad Lions really working out in their favor, but they're going to try and force up Favon. Oh, that hurts. Two kills found, but they do find the trade in at the end. Three on three, but yet to find access to any of the sites. May consider to go for the A site. TMB gets deleted by Dennis, but now he's in trouble. He's going to have to fall back. Wait for reinforcements. A Chi grenade won't be fighting. Flashbang comes out. Tudson looking to find the angle. He will pick up Dennis, and Cressy's left. It was lonesome. He's even been pincered into one spot, pushes through the fire, ex eh, tried to bait Tudson into not expecting it, but that fight has lost a man, maybe trying to reclaim the advantage, and as the aggression comes in, Tudson does exactly what is required. Waro chimes in with another kill, Favin finds two, but that can't be enough, can it? Oh, it's gonna be tough. Oh, no, not enough. Absolutely not. Mad Lions. Find the equalizer. And that's the chaining of the rounds that I was Check Dennis for the refrag. Dennis finds one. This is where they peek in and Slacks will deliver. Waro not allowed to capitalize on Dennis peeking out. Speedy, he'll get his fair share too. And that just leaves TMB and Tutson. And Sprout fighting right back around. TMB will try to look through. Cressy spotted out the barrel of his opponent's weapon. And they will be able to wall him out in the end. Tudson? Very. But Sprout will be very happy to get themselves right back onto the board because Mad Lions really just put pressure upon them. Goes for something <laughs> aggressive, but Dennis, there I'm waiting. Oh, TMB Ooh. Uh, that's a that, that's a stale angle now because TMB, he's fallen for it, fallen for it once. It's looking like it's a lost cause, and that's the timing. Dennis looks away at the wrong time. Speedy, another line of defense that will eventually fall. Slack's looking to huddle onto that AWP. Campbell's, because there haven't really been consecutive rounds being lost. Mm, TMB, though. Oh, that's uh, minus 3,700.
I mean, he'll save it onto the next round, not too bad. Still keeping his team in the game, but Mad Lions, they're getting close to that score line. 14th already getting scary. One more round. For this little stalemate here. One to the A site. They've got it under their eyesight. And Waro is able to find just one frag so far. Caressi from behind. 180 from Tutson. Punishes right back onto it. CMB, control over heaven, is able to hand over the bomb site to Lobby to make sure that heaven, uh, that the player in heaven can't punish them. That was perfectly done, but then for oh, here we go. time and time again he's going to peek out once more has a flashbang at the ready slax is pushing in through the smoke jumping around with the mp9 farben's found a kill slax chimes in farben eventually chimes in as well contributions all across the board and mad Ooh. lions will fall proud they're inching ever so close oh, that really vents aggression huh? but dennis has spotted out a player he's waiting for more to cross so he can get that freebie no way oh, it's around no! Dutton gets it 180 degree baby oh no that is dreadful dennis now down in numbers sprout need a miracle five versus three still doable by all means they still have control over the sites but slacks knows that something may go down finds a shot makes things a little slightly more doable this time 4v3. Incinerate to be thrown as well. May look to re a different angle. Flash. It's going to be the ace site. Bavin. He needs to come up huge all by himself. No reinforcements. Finds one. Will he find a second? He finds oh. it! Down to JL. Will he find his teammate? Because number three, we haven't seen this before. And now Sprout, they've got a lot more to prove all of a sudden. Oh man, that was close. That was too close. The Mad Lions take it. 16 for them. And they go to map number three. See you right after the break. Back. Give it a sprout where it hurts on their own map pick. Turn things around. I want to see if they can close it out on map number three as well. Fabin finds the opening frag. He's still getting aggressive. And he's even good for a second. Nice third shots. seems to be the third. case. But man, just stops short of four. TMB and Sossel still alive. But Cressy already on the site trying to hold it down, but does have to draw an incendiary to deter the aggression. But Sorso already on site, chiming in for the first time this map. For the first time these two maps, he was uh, quite literally absent on Nuke. But now he's in, chiming in for his first kill. Right now a two on two, Sprout need to come back. Yeah, Sprout started things off amazingly with Farben finding three. It has to be a little frustrating if Speedy doesn't get it. TMB playing the close corner. Incredibly difficult to find it, but Speedy does it regardless. Sossel quite low on HP. There's a kit in Speedy's hands as well, but no armor. The aim punch is the name of the game. He does eventually lose grip on his crosser, and Sossel comes out on top. 1-0. And oh. are looking for... And Tutson is just holding pressure. Pulls a trigger onto Speedy, and that's one kill already down. They could go for the... Happy about Speedy falling already. But with 50 seconds on the clock, Mad Lions are starting to reveal their cards. Favin, happy to put them face down once again. TMB, taken out of the server. Pretty split up as far as Sprout goes, but they have so much information courtesy of Scressy, who's crept up behind them, but can he contribute in time? Slacks gets the first frag. They're moving into Catwalk, and this is going to be a crouch beat coming in from the other side. Keen on the other side of the map. He's moving into B. The bomb, though, all the way on A. Cressy chimes in from behind. Tudson left alone. 74. Miss Sprout to get themselves back in the game. And Dennis... Finding the last one, nothing saved over to the Three players to defend indeed. Moy's thrown out to get them out of position, but the Sue gonna trickle in, running out of time. They can't rotate elsewhere. They need to take the B execute. Sorso finds the first frag. Fabin falls down straight away, but TMB answers very quickly. Speedy on site, tries to make uh... the pistol work out. Good for one, but not gonna be good enough. Bressy from behind also chimes in for one. 2v3 for the retake right now, but Mad Lions on the B site with three players. And this is a pretty comfortable save because you know that Mad Lions aren't looking too keen on their money anyway. Flashbang comes out. JL playing that default, crossing over to a blue bin. Instead, he's going to go for the aim duel instead. Sossel manages to capitalize. Cressy and Dennis come out with the advantage slacks playing from car misses some very crucial shots was in a pivotal position to turn 
that want to line up their U-Tool, line up the cross and facilitate their push. But Favon may go for a peekaroo, finds the kill, does get traded out, and it's all up to speedy in the 1v2. Not sure if that's what they wanted, but he's good for one bomb dropped them there. Now they're oh. under pressure, scoped in, speedy takes it, five to four favoring Sprout. Given to Sprout because nobody's holding the defaults particularly, so a push could really change the outcome of things. Keen finds the first frag, Favon tries to respond, but Tutson is on the case, and he has solved it. Slacks. Gets a bit aggressive on his zone, gets headshotted and has to retreat, Ooh. but he's not going to be allowed to do it. No, he's not. Two versus five right now, favoring the Mad Lion side. Still could do a ton of damage on this, but Speedy trying his luck scope. Sims does find damage for HP. It's TMB. Keen on nine, barely surviving throughout that. Cressy trying to do damage, but that AWP legs him. Jump, a crucial one, keeps him alive, keeps him in the game. Crosses through to A Long, trying to save that rifle, but Mad Lions are chasing after him. The one saving grace he's got is the fact that TMB and Keen are quite low on HP, so that AK will be doing him some favors unless he gets taken out by Tudson. And that is what the crystal ball had being displayed in it. Up close and personal to that smoke, but he's not going to greet anybody. Sprout are playing this pretty far back, but Sawsaw up from mid, Sneaky Beaky finds Dennis. And I might open things up. Going towards mid, go B. That's what the call is right now, but Favon spots him out. A victory short lived. And additional resources just to lock down mid. They've been able to get on to B very comfortably. Cressy, he, he's, he's peeked out. Does get punished by TMB eventually, but Slacks is there to pick up the Slack bomb sites. And now Mad Lions can comfortably get on there, but they're not checking it. Favin but gets punished regardless. He had the drop on them. Finds the fact that they'll be ahead at half time. Yeah, for sure. 8 7. That's something they've guaranteed for themselves, and I'm not sure of what I want. Game progress is they have more and more to prove. Oh, look at this, Slacks. Oh, he knows of this. He's able to find one kill onto Keen already. And that's the only rifle on the Sprout side already having an impact. Now, Mad Lions, they don't know that their opponents don't have enough money to buy up. It's only Deagles for them. Binding damage, Sorcerer finds the entry. Slacks needs to help out now for the cross. Langle oh! connected. Line up for him. Nice little collateral. And now it's down to two players. Clutches. The T side, they're too worried to be changing positions at this point. Slacks eventually finds Tutson though. That just leaves JL all to his lonesome, trying to huddle up behind the box. Finds a frag, but I don't think he'll be getting any more. Sprays away. Cressy's there to end his life. I love that from Sprout. They're able to get it done, and you know what? That was great recognition from Slacks. He peeks out mid early on. He sees that there's nobody top mid, and seeing here, Mad Lines with a triple up setup. From the get-go, they're looking to go aggressive. Tutson with a peek. Oh! oh. Caught out. No luck there. Favon gets that one win. Gets that one win. English, please. TMB, though, with 12 HP. Likely to go down. Slacks is the one to pull the trigger on that. They may only have one AWP, but they make it work. It is indeed a little bit of a lineup here. Favon may be able to chime in as well, as Speedy has his sights on B. Dennis, though. Oh, what? No way. Keen. That was dirty. Doesn't quite survive through the kill on Favon, but Slacks holds down the A site, and Mad Lions won't have any more access. That was mad for him. And we'll get shut down in the end. The triple up setup, a little bit too greedy, I may say. Down by the molly, but TMB pushing up aggressively up through the smoke. They are lurking in, but Sorcerer already on the back lines doing damage, causing chaos. Commotion going on. TMB, Cressy tries to join in as Tudson also wants to be a menace, but it's all up to TMB right now. This where Slack should really put the pedal to the metal. He can't isolate Cressy like that, but it doesn't matter. Cressy, he gets the job done all on his own. Eight to eight. Chigwene doing most of the damage there, as there are a couple of players close to the doors. Aggression. Favon is able to find that one cleanly. Mad Lion's going for a pistol round. Not going to work in their favor. We'll try and buy up the next one, though. So, so trying to do some more damage. Extra. Two Ooh. kills as well. TMB has to go down as Favon finds his way behind him. And now that's actually very close. It's still very tricky to actually get onto the side. A flashbang tries to assist him, but... We'll eventually come down to a 1v2. Ooh. Slacks, you've gotten a little... Uh, oh, it's close. Go there for a second and Sossel will make it work. Oh man, Slacks got a little careless there, didn't he? Oh, he did indeed. 
Now that hurt them in the end. So, so recovering the AK-40, doing slightly, um, slight amounts of damage, but they are going to trickle in either way. It's uh, L completely flashed out. Speedy, he's able to find him. TMB from afar with a scope out. AWP finds him though. That's the aggression that they want. That's the round that they want. The first to get to the double digit side. But this game is as close as it can get. All apart for that for the enemy team. That's Sossel. He was oh, oh I think there's another tug from the other end. Slacks. Does he peek into Favin and find the duel though? That's the big question. This one duel could be the equalizer or, or a very heavy advantage, and that's what's it what it's going to be. A ladder. Fossil has been overwhelmed. Favin eventually is able to pick up the kill for Tutson. And that's still serviceable because Tutson having enough money means that they can have three rifles and this is where they're at a crossroads. Do they try to- Same duel happening, don't you? Slax is about to get peaked by Tutson. That's the kill Cressy. from Cressy. Nothing found. Cressy with a second one as well, chiming in to another Keen. Is keen on a couple, but only finds one at that. Tutsa makes the work to defend, but the bomb heading towards B right now. And I don't think there's anything he can do about it. Finds one kill onto Slacks. He has stuck around. So 1v2 prospect is still in the air. Runs away. He's got time. He's going to be able to run away. Sprout won't get him in time. That's the AWP save. Peak will come. Kales. One's a side switch. Sure, we see some equal sides, oh. but look at this. JL, he's right in the midst of the oh, action. No he's found three with an M4. You no, know, look at this slide up from mid. This is game over from Spout. They aggress through, but he's there to collect them both. Tappity tap tap. Favin, you're down. And Mad Lions on double digits. Trying to lay the push as much as they can. Reinforcements start to come in, but the terrorists are trickling in faster. Totson burning to a Chris Sossel, all to his lonesome. He's flashed out of his mind. He's eventually taken down, and Slax is sticking around for the leftovers. TMB left all alone. 1v4, and Mad Lions will fall once again. Yes, that they will. TMB goes out with a bang, but it's not going to be a big enough bang because Mad Lions... Incredibly... Incredibly devastating over towards mid, but man, he's oh, missed so TMB much info. They're gonna small. walk right into TMB's M4A1S crosshair. He's picked up two, and this is what Mad Lions have been thriving on. Time and time again, these individual skills will come out to play. Todson mollied out, but he's not dead. He swings out, he gets the kill, and he's... Pressure. And Mad Lions don't need to push at all. They can just stay there. They know they haven't fallen back. They know they haven't gone forwards. And that's what they go for. A little bit of a peek -a All three players at the same time simultaneously peeking through. L will be taken away very quickly. He's been disposed of, and Todson's trying to chime in. Favin immediately takes care of that problem, and Mad Lions is left hungry right out. Let's see. Looking tough. I think Sprout, Sprout has set themselves up really nicely, though. No, for sure. And like they will, JL will hold down the line. TMB as well. Two players on the B side to hold this one down. Spray down, Speedy, Cressy. Every single one chiming in. It's the Mois to do a lot of damage. Maybe they can get redemption from that 2 0 they faced earlier. But with the way things are looking, Sprout, they have this map down under lock and key for any B aggression, but Speedy's still playing that angle, so he might be able to find Tutson. Speedy accidentally exposes his teammate, though, and Dennis will fall. Now, they do indeed. Nice little push up. Favon, oh, he's able to find the damage, but Sorcel, he's being absolutely crucial right now, running out of time. They need the frags, and they have run out of time. Nothing they can do. Slaxor by himself will have to fall back. Salvage his rifle. Because right now, Mad Lions have been controlling everything. Slacks does make it fairly close in the end, does leave one player on their opponent's side. Sosu with that in four. Over from CT, it can be an incredibly difficult fight to take. Slacks now peeks out. He can see a pixel, but it doesn't matter because he will eventually get taken down. Sosu trying to fight back for his team. There's nothing in particular. They need to act on it fast. They're running out of economy. They're running out of time in this particular round. Tutson is able to find the cross through. No smoke to facilitate the cross. And that might be costly. He, MP9, doesn't matter if it's a long distance or not. He's able to spray left and right. ADAD. Find themselves the kills. Matt Lyons with 13. Only two now between themselves and their opponents. And Sprout stuck in pit right now. He needs reinforcements. Flash to be thrown. Finds a first frag. Now he needs a return frags as well. If he wants his team to come back in this. Dennis, though, does get the retrade in. 
But right now, the stack up from Mad Lions, they're going to take a whole lot of damage to get it on this site. TMB now on site needs to be the difference maker. 15 seconds running out. Dennis with the first one. TMB on site finding one. Speedy with the return. Frag 10 seconds. Keen now on site. Does try to go for the bomb. Defuse, but Favon oh, does no. get it. He doesn't interrupt this. Sprouting, but he oh, doesn't find it. Slacks barely. takes it out. Valiant effort for Mad Lions, but it's Sprout to win out the series. What a close game. Mad Lions.